Hey kids, what's up? It's uh, Coach Sloth, and as you can see, I'm here in Iowa, and it's cold. And I just have to get all this snow out of my driveway. We had about a foot of snow last night, so I'm out here shoveling. I had to clear out all this snow. See, my, my Suburban's buried in snow right now. I got all my books loaded in there. I'm ready to head to Arizona. But I gotta clear the snow first, so it's cold. So kids, it's a little different. Iowa's a lot different. We had we had snow out here, so we can make some snowmen and snow angels. But it's kind of fun, but I'm ready to go someplace warm. And I can't wait to come out to Arizona. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to kind of document my trip out there. Some of the stops I take. It's a long way. I think it's like 24 hours. It's like a long ways to go. So maybe I should bring some of this snow with me. I don't want it. You kids can have it. You can have all the snow you want. <laughs> It'll be fun. So, all right, kids, come on. Get this cleared out. Hop in the truck. And we'll head out of here. So, all right. See you in a little bit. All right, kids. All right, kids. I'm getting ready to take off here. I know it's uh, dark out now. Earlier, I got all done shoveling. As you can see, my driveway's cleared off. But I was kind of busy today. I actually had to go to a funeral, so <clears throat> it took a little longer than I expected. Now it's probably close to nine o'clock. I just put Ellie down a couple hours ago. I said goodbyes to Ethan and Ella and my fiance Emily. Talked to her for a little bit. Now I was gonna head out to uh, Arizona. See, so you got the back here I got a pack full of books piled high to the books I gotta bring all these books out with me because I want books for kids to enjoy once I get to the school so I gotta load up my load up my car I know kids ask me all the time do I do I drive do I fly how do I take a air balloon do I take a train do I take a tractor well I drive because I got all these books I gotta carry with me so so that's the reason why it makes for a long trip. Like it's gonna take me 24 hours. So I should roll into Arizona. I'm probably around oh, <laughs> nine o'clock tomorrow evening, p.m. It's gonna be a long drive. So I, I'll talk to you kids. Uh, kind of tell you where I'm at at certain points. Uh, I'll probably have to fuel up here and uh, be on my way. So. It'll be a lot of fun. You see all this snow, you can't really see it now, but boy, we got a lot of snow and it's cold out. So I can't wait to go play some golf in some nice weather. Maybe go swimming. See my grandparents, they live out in, in Apache Junction. So that's one of the reasons why I scheduled this trip now so I can come out and visit them as well. So it'll be a lot of fun. So, all right, kids, this next stop, I'm gonna be driving through. So I'm in Huxley, Iowa right now. I'm gonna be uh, driving through Des Moines capital of Iowa. That should have been one of my quizzes right there. What's the capital of Iowa? It's Des Moines. So I'm driving through there next. So, And then off to uh, Kansas City, I believe. So I think that's the route I'm going to take. So, Alright, kids. Uh, talk to you a little bit. Hey, kids. It's getting pretty uh, late or early in the morning. It's about 4 o'clock a.m. I've been driving uh, almost to Wichita, Kansas. And uh, I have to drive on this uh, toll road. So right now I'm stopping, I gotta pay my toll. So I gotta stick that in there and uh, tell me, it's gonna tell me how much I owe just to drive on the road. It's like those bridges with that big troll and to be able to pay money to cross the bridge. That's kind of what this is right here. I gotta pay money to go all the way across the state of Kansas. Ten dollars, jeez. So I'll stick that in there. I don't think they got these in uh, Phoenix, but a lot of cities, bigger, Chicago, they got all kinds of them. Uh, Orlando, I know they have a bunch. So they got them all over the country, but I don't think Phoenix does. I think happens. All right, kids, just paid my uh, toll, so I'm good to go. Keep driving uh, for a few more hours. Long ways to go. All right. All right. Good morning, kids. Rise and shine. The sun's up, and I'm still I'm still driving. Just made it through Kansas. It's about eight o'clock right now. Getting close to about half the way. Kansas is a long state. Now I'm in Oklahoma, and uh, it's pretty flat here in Oklahoma, Panhandle. And uh, then I'm off to uh, New Mexico. I think that's my next state. One state away from Arizona, but I still got, like I said, about halfway there. So, so yeah, a long ways to go. 12, uh, 13 hours yet. <laughs> I'm 
I'm telling you, it's a long ways to come. All right, kids, uh, I'm sure you're having fun at school right now, and uh, we'll check you in a little bit. All right. Hey, kids, just made it to New Mexico. And uh, actually, right now I'm driving on Route 66, the historic Route 66. Uh, probably driving. This might be, uh, looks like kind of like Radiator Springs right here. Oh, right there. I think that's Mater. And uh, Lightning McQueen right there. See them? And uh, who else? Uh, Doc, he's in. He might be here someplace. What's the other one? Uh, Sally, she might be here now. So, so this is out here in the middle of nowhere out in uh, New Mexico. And, and uh, just kind of cruising, seeing how this, seeing what this town looks like. Uh, but yeah, so this is where I get a lot of my ideas. I got all this driving to go. It's probably about 11, 11 a.m. right now. I've been driving for a long time. So I get all kinds of ideas. So this is where I get a lot of my ideas for stories. And that'd be a pretty good idea for a story. Seeing me going across the country, having maybe a race across the country, seeing different states and different things and have different adventures. In fact, uh, I need some ideas. All right? I, I, I'm working on some new books. If you kids got an idea for a story, just type it in. Say, Sammy, do this. Sammy, do that. Or if you have another great idea, type that in the comments. I'll run with it. And, uh, hey, if I uh, make a book out of it, publish it, I'll put your name on there. So, yeah, I need some good ideas, new characters. So, all right, I'm going to go check, uh, see if I can find Lightning McQueen. See if he's, uh, see if he's got a race going on today, maybe. <laughs> so, all right, kids, I'm sure uh, you kids know what I'm talking about. Cars, it's one of my... My kid's favorite movie, so. Alright, next stop, uh, I think Arizona. I think I'm getting closer. Alright, I'm almost there. Alright, take care. Alright, kids, I made it to Arizona. I'm here. It's awesome. I was just driving through the canyon right here. This is pretty, this is pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's really neat. It's really scenic through here. It's just uh, east of uh, Phoenix. If you just go over those big, over by Superstitious Mountain and go past there. Man, this is really gorgeous. It's pretty neat. Definitely check this out sometime, but it's kind of nice. I like, I love Arizona. I can't wait. I still got a couple more hours to go though until I get into the city. So, all right, we're getting closer. It's about uh, oh, what time is it? Six, seven o'clock. Driving for a long time, and the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. All right. All right. Good morning, kids. I made it last night. I pulled in to my grandparents' house right here. In Apache Junction about 8 o'clock so it took me 23 hours to get here 1400 miles long trip I didn't I didn't get to stop any place I just had to keep driving because I have a school this morning so I had to get here in time to get some rest and uh, head off to the school so uh, I'm up in uh, Scottsdale today so I'm hopping the truck and uh, head up there and uh, have a fun day with the kids so I can't wait I'm nice and rested I'm ready to rock I'm ready to rock and have a great time so all right check you really soon there, I just got to the school. I'm just getting everything all set up, waiting for the kids. I got my helmets, my Iowa State helmets, my tub of cool things. I'm ready to go. Long trip. I'm super excited to talk to these kids today, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure these kids are going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun, so, all right. All right, you ready? Here we go. Got the mask up. Hey, Cuddy Badger. She's a pretty popular student at school. She's got the cool Mohawk, cool shirt on. She has the cool shoes on. She's got a lot of friends. Sometimes Hank is a big bean bully to others. On Monday, Hank and her five friends, right, five friends, I need raccoon, rat, dog, beaver, woodchuck, come up here, raccoon, beaver, woodchuck, come up here, beaver, raccoon, rat, come on, dog, come on, dog, I miss a dog, this dog, yeah, this dog, this dog, dog, this dog, this dog, this dog, 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 right there. Right behind you, right behind you. All right, we got your mask up, friends. Got your mask up. So on Monday, Hank and her, one, two, three, four, five friends. She, they're all sitting on the bus, and they're hanging out, and they're just kind of chilling, kind of going to school, doing some homework, reading magazines, reading books, probably playing Fortnite on their tablets and stuff. And here comes Callie Alley Cat. She walks up on the bus. She walks to the bus. And she walks by the friend, she walks by Hank. Hank sees Callie. She's kind of a big bean bully. And she makes fun of Callie. And she says to him really loud, it's right there, Callie. Say it really loud and say, Ha ha, look everyone. Ha ha, look everyone. Yeah. And Callie has holes in her dress. Callie has holes in her dress. She is so poor. She is so poor. 
Yeah, Hank and her five friends laugh out loud. <laughs> laugh out loud. They're making fun of Cat. Help out, laugh out loud. <laughs> She tells Hank how she feels, because hey, she might not even realize. And Callie says, Meow. Meow. It hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings. When you make fun of my clothes. When you make fun of my clothes. Meow. Meow. Yeah. 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 She did a great job. She told Hank how she felt. But hey, she didn't listen. But her friend, her friend Robbie Raccoon, she knows it's wrong to make fun of others and pick on them and tease them. She doesn't want to be a bully anymore. She decides she better find some new friends because being a bully is not cool. All right, just got done at the school. The kids were absolutely fantastic. Had a wonderful day. Did four presentations and and they're all great. It was, it was really fun. You see my little cart here. That's kind of where I bring all my I got my tub of stuff. I got all my books for kids if they want books. I'll sign it for them. I got some other cool things in there too. So hey, see all these books. Hopefully we get rid of these. So. I don't have to take them all home with me. So, but uh, hey, had, like I said, the kids were awesome. I'm loving this weather right now. It's gorgeous out. I'm gonna head back to uh, to my grandparents, play a little pickleball, maybe go swimming with my grandpa, and have some play, play some golf. We love to play golf. So, all right, that's where I get some ideas for stories. Love this weather, visiting this town. So, all right, kids, we'll check in a little bit. All right, it's lunchtime. I have to come to this restaurant right here, In-N-Out Burger. See, in Iowa, we don't have In-N-Out, and I love it. I was out here in California for a couple years, and I fell in love with In-N-Out. So you kids are lucky. You get to eat In-N-Out Burgers all the time. So anytime I'm head west, Arizona, California, this is the first place I go to have some lunch. So I can't wait. I've been <laughs> craving this the entire trip, so I'm pretty excited to get some lunch in here. Have a double-double, some fries, milkshake. Can't wait. All right, let's get inside here. Of course, the line's about a mile long right now. Everybody wants to eat an out burger. Look at that. Crazy. Yeah, you guys are lucky. That was good. I hit the spot. <clears throat> I've been craving that since I left. Couldn't wait. First place I was going to stop to eat in and out. Got my shake right here. Whew. All right, I'm good to go. All right, I just got done with my school and just uh, checked into the place where I'm staying. How great is this? The weather's gorgeous. You kids are pretty lucky to have such beautiful weather at this time of year. And uh, normally I stay with my grandparents over in Apache Junction, but I have a timeshare condo, and I thought I'd stay here this week and then go over to their place next week. Uh, this place is pretty nice. It's got a big old pool, big old hot tub, and a really nice big old living room in my hotel. And room. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty sweet place. And, uh, yeah, it's a chance to... Uh, so now I have a lot of free time, so I don't have schools until uh, next Monday, so I have a weekend to work on some, some of my uh, books, come up with some ideas and write some stories. I got a lot of free time to do that. And that's why I, where I get a lot of my ideas is when I go on these trips and go on these adventures. And that's why I always encourage kids, encourage you kids, to, do th to write about stories, to write stories about things that you do in your life. Maybe you kids... Take a trip with your family. Hey, write a story about that. Put your family in there as characters, brother, sister, your mom and dad. Maybe your kids uh, go to a ball game, go to uh, have a big birthday party, or so, whatever your adventure is, whatever your fun uh, activity is, what you love doing, you enjoy, write stories about that. Keep writing stories. Because then someday, if you have all these stories, and you're going to use one of those stories, and you're going to send it to a publisher, make it into a book, and guess what? You can come, become an author. It's awesome. It's so much fun. You get to travel all over, the, all over the country and share your books with kids all over. So and it's a lot of fun. So keep writing your stories, kids, and, and use those adventures you have in your life and write stories about them. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. If you kids uh, can't wait, if I haven't seen you yet, can't wait to come visit your school. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, hey, like, subscribe. I know my kids, they like everything. So like, subscribe. And uh, that's it. All right, kids. Have a great, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you soon.